Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing another LOL Tweens. This time we have got Darcy Blush from series four. I truly cannot believe that they're already on series four of the tweens. Like I feel like this has been going so fast and that doesn't even count the tweens that come in like the little babysitter packs with tots or the masquerade series of tweens. Like there are already so many tween stalls and I feel like they just started, but I'm not complaining by any means. These dolls are so cute. Like look at the size of this box in my hands. I feel like I do so many dolls here where the box is enormous. <laughs> I can like barely fit it on screen that having a tiny little one like this is honestly really refreshing and cute and just exciting. So yes, this is Darcy in box here. And then on the back, you can see all of the other dolls from series four. I did also pick up Jenny, so I will be reviewing her soon. I, I don't think I'm going to get Olivia or Allie. With Allie, I don't think that I like her outfits, even though I love the base doll. And then Olivia is kind of the opposite where I like her clothes but the base doll itself is just not my personal favorite. So I'm probably going to skip on those. Um, but today we're focusing on the good. We're focusing on the lovely Darcy here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get her unboxed off camera really quick. And then I will be back with, to discuss all of the details with you guys. Before I do that though, switching things up a little bit, I'm going to try doing my little spiel at the beginning of my videos instead of the end. So if during the course of this video, you find yourself enjoying it, if you could give it a like, that would be really, really awesome. If you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy what you see, maybe subscribe for more. And then I also have an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Ko-Fi, that one's the most important one. Ko-Fi, coffee, it's like a Patreon. If you guys wanted to support me, like go the extra mile, that would be really, really radical if you could check that out. Um, but yeah, that's finally all the promotions out of the way. So let's actually get into Darcy. I think that may have been the quickest I have literally ever unboxed a doll. Like that was so simple. I'm very happy with that. But more importantly, we did get Darcy out. She is sitting here on her stand. We will get to her in a second, but first we have to look at all of her goodies. The first thing is she does come with a little yellow comb. And then this was interesting. Her hat is not like in a bag. This was just kind of chilling out in her box, which is fine. Like I'm not complaining at all. I just thought it was interesting because LOL usually has all of the accessories in bags or boxes or something, but it is really cute. A little bit shiny, a little beret here with the ribbon on top. I'm really excited to put this on her in a second. I think she's going to look so cute. And then we just have two bags to get through. So it's like not too much, but first one here. Okay. I'm always afraid to miss something. Okay, first thing in here is her bag. This is so cute. I love the shine to it. Y'all know I love anything that is sparkly. But honestly, the, oh gosh, what do you call this pattern? Where it's like slightly 3D quilted maybe? Is that like, no, that doesn't feel right. I don't know what you call this, but it's really, really detailed and really beautiful on this bag on both sides. Super cute. Technically, it does open. I don't think you could fit much in there, but it's nice that, you know, you could slide maybe like a little phone, a little toy phone in there or something for her. That's really cute. I love that. What else is in this bag? Oh, okay. I got all of like the accessories first. That's, that's good. Okay. So first off, we have a hair clip here. Three hearts. It is interesting that it is something you bend yourself and then actually clip it in. So it's literally a functioning hair clip. I really love that. And we did get two of those. So that's super cool. Then we also get a tiny, tiny little bracelet. It's so small, but still the molding on the bow is so detailed for how tiny it is. And like the little paint job, absolutely precious. And then lastly, we got her earrings. And I think these are really cute if it'll focus. It really doesn't want to. I'm so sorry. There we go. Little heart earrings. Super cute. What is in bag number two? Okay, so this is just her sunglasses. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Ah, I love like the slight purple tinge to the lenses. That's very cute. Mine is definitely not painted the best. There's like a glop of paint here and the paint's kind of off all along the edges. I'm not sure how clearly that's showing up on camera, but in person, they're not the best. <laughs> um, it could be a lot worse and it's hard because this is one of the surprise things. So like you can't pick for that in store, but I guess be aware that that might be an issue like, even on the side here. It's like chipping and I don't know. The paint job on these is not the best, but we're going to keep going with an open heart and positivity and go ahead and look at Darcy. So first of all, I have to talk about her makeup because like I was blown away by this. It's so cute. And like, 
looking at the stock photos, I knew it was going to be cute, right? Like you can see that and you can look at her and think that's nice. That's adorable. But the eyeshadow, oh gosh, I think my light is like making it kind of hard to see. Hopefully you can see that. All of the eyeshadow on her top lid is iridescent. So when you move her, it shimmers. And that's not a detail that I was expecting. And I'm so happy about it. Like she just looks so beautiful with her shiny little eyelids. I love it so much. And like the freckles and the graphic liner on the bottom too is so cute. Um, her hair is a little disappointing. And this is something we knew even from stock photos. So in all fairness, I bought her knowing this. It's not like it was an unpleasant surprise like the sunglasses. But the box art, I'm actually going to show you really quick. Just pardon my trash. She's got really like pretty thick braids. And it kind of gives you the impression that she's got a decent amount of them. Whereas on the actual doll, the braids are very thin. Like very, very thin. And most of them are already in like these little ties at the front of her head. She has a few in the back, but it's definitely not the same look. Like if you compare the two, not the same vibe at all. <laughs> So, like, that's a little disappointing. Again, though, that's something that I knew going in. Like, you can see the doll in box. So, it's not a shocker. It's just kind of sad. I wish they would have gone with, like, thicker braids for her. But her hair is really, really soft. And even the braids are quite soft. I feel like sometimes you get doll braids and they can be a little bit stiff. But these are, like, very malleable and soft. So, they flow very nicely with the rest of her hair, which is cool. As for rooting... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> At least on the black side, she is super thick rooting. Let's check the yellow. Yeah, wow. Look at that. That's like quite good. Her hair, she's got a full head of hair. And I knew that from folding her. Like, the hair is as thick as the doll. But actually looking at the scalp, it looks really good too. So that's awesome that she is very, very thickly rooted. So I guess pros and cons on the hair. But overall, she's looking real cute. I am going to go ahead. I have to do this off camera really quick so that I can like make the most of my hands, I'm sorry. But I wanna see if I can get her in her beret or like see how hard this is gonna be, I guess. After about a minute of struggling, I, I technically got it all <laughs> Okay, let me, let me see if I can fix that a little bit now that I've got it like on her head. Oh, that's so embarrassing, wow. Oh no, oh no, 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 don't slide off, no. Shoot, okay. Okay, it's been another like minute and a half. I'm gonna try to like show you what the struggle that I'm having is. So I get it on her like this. And my thought is like, okay, if I can get it on this far, then I can just adjust it, right? I'm gonna try to get it really far down on the back of her head and then try to pull it up. Immediately it comes off. I think something with the material of this, like it's different on the inside than on the outside, but it's quite slippery. And the fact that she has just straight, very smooth hair for the most part, like the braids are not giving her a lot of grip. And I think that the straight hair is really like sliding off the inside of this. It's like a little bit too tight for me to be able to get it on her. Cause I feel like it's supposed to rest like very gently, kind of like that. Obviously on her though, and I, I can't get it on. That could very well be a me problem. I am fully willing to accept and admit to that. Sorry, I need to like fix her hair really quick. I kind of messed up the front of her hair a little bit. Anyway, um, yeah, that could be a me problem for sure, but also it could be not a me problem. And that could be something that you actually need to be aware of. So I don't know if you have her, let me know in the comments if you also had that problem. But moving on down to her outfit, lots of different materials on the top. I want to kind of hold her hair out of the way so we can see it. There's like shimmery and then not so shimmery pleather. There's like a netting. There's almost more of like a mesh here. Lots of different types of materials. Very impressed with that just because it's such a small scale and to have all the materials and have them look so good. I love that. I think it's a very cute design also. The bottoms slightly off. You can see that like there is a bit of a raw edge on the top here right above her belt. Her belt loop does move, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, there's like a little bit of a raw edge. And I looked at every single one in the Walmart that I got these at. And every single one either had this or had messed up makeup. So I decided I would rather have a slight issue with the skirt than have messed up makeup. So I don't know, something to be aware of. The belt is attached also. But we've also got like different colors and stuff here with like the little heart patches. I think it's very cute. I think from a distance, not really a problem. She's adorable. 
But yeah, I would say definitely be on the lookout if you're hunting for these for the like waistband of the skirt because this was also honestly probably the best one. A lot of them were a lot worse than this. And then lastly, we are moving down to the shoes. I love a good mismatched shoe. I feel like a lot of doll brands do this when they have split dyed doll hair where they split the outfit or the shoes as well. And I'm always here for it. It's super cute. I love these. I think that the colors are beautiful. The paint job is really detailed and really solid on these. And then the socks also, so cute. It is just a raw edge, but I feel like because it's the netting, it's not terrible. Like it doesn't look bad. Overall, very, very cute. Her hair is still bothering me. Oh my gosh. There we go. Maybe a little better. Whatever. Final thoughts on Darcy. I would say my least favorite things are the hat. I mean, that kind of has to be it. The fact that I can't get the hat on there. Again, that could be a me issue. So if it is, let me know in the comments and I will rescind that as one of my least favorite things. Because like, it's not fair of me to be upset about something if it's my fault. But just in case it's not, the hat is one of my least favorite things. The paint job on the glasses, really not a fan. Again, it's harder to see on camera, but I promise you in person, it is significantly worse than it looks on camera. And then of course she's got like the issue with her skirt. Favorite things though, I think the overall design for this character is very, very sweet. I love the pastel colors and I like the like fashion choices. And I even like the hairstyle, despite the fact that the braids are kind of small. I love how thickly rooted she is. I love her makeup and this little purse is so stinking cute. So very mixed bag with Darcy. I'm not gonna lie. I went into this thinking this would be a much more positive review. Like I thought this was gonna be knock it out of the park, nothing bad to say kind of review. Like before I unboxed her, I was thinking, wow, I might be able to say that I don't have any least favorite things because this doll is so perfect. Obviously that has not been the case. <laughs> I still do love her and I'm still really happy to have her in my collection, but definitely I feel like there are a lot of defects, like I said, that you can at least notice in the box, the waistband, and then definitely be on the lookout for her face paint because mine is okay, but a lot of them were not. You can't really do anything about the paint on anything that's a mystery. Um, so yeah, I guess just be careful when buying. If you have the opportunity to buy in person, I definitely would say that's a good idea for this doll specifically. But if not, I wish you all the luck. Definitely though, let me know all of your thoughts on Darcy in the comments below, whether you have her or not. I would love to hear what you're thinking about this doll. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.